Given any two points, you have enough information to sketch a line. My question to you is, why not use the two most important points to get a really accurate graph? Those two points are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. As a reminder, the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. How do you find these? To find the x-intercept, you set y equal to 0, and you solve for x. This will give you a single number that represents the point that you can find your x-intercept at. To find the y-intercept, you do the complete opposite, x equals 0, solve for y. These sound like, okay, wait, I have to solve two equations, but the equations that come out are actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple and fast. That's the main point of this method. Instead of plotting random points, you're plotting two specific ones. As an example, we're going to start out with something pretty easy. You'll see why it's easy in a second. I'm first going to find my x-intercept. Remember, first that means I'm going to set y equal to 0. I get 0 equals 2x plus 4. Okay, i got to get rid of the 4, so subtract from both sides. Minus 4 equals 2x. x would then be minus 2. That means I have an x-intercept of minus 2. The actual point is minus 2 comma 0, but I don't actually need that information to plot this. Okay, what about the y-intercept? If you're pretty familiar with these types of graphs, you know that this is going to be our y-intercept, right? Because it's of the form y equals mx plus b, and that number represents your y-intercept. If you don't remember that, you can still find it using this method. Just remember, y-intercept set x equal to 0. So I'd have y equals 2 times 0 plus 4, but what's 2 times 0? It's 0, so y equals 4. That gives me the point 4 as my y-intercept. Now all I have to do is connect these two points with a line going through them, and I have my line for this equation. What if it's not in that form y equals mx plus b? Will it still be that easy? Well, it turns out it's still pretty good. It's still maybe even a little bit easier because you don't have to move things to other sides of the equation. Let's see what I mean. I'm going to start out by finding my x-intercept. That means I'm setting y equal to 0. So I have 3x plus 5 times 0 equals 7. So 3x equals 7. Solve for x by dividing by 3, I get 7 thirds. Now 7 thirds is not something that's easy to just graph. It's best to find the decimal approximation for that and try to graph that. This is about 2.3. In other words, a little bit past 2. So my x-intercept, here's 2, is just a little bit past that. Remember, you can't draw a perfect graph by hand, but you want to draw it as accurately as possible. Okay, what about the y-intercept? For the y-intercept, I'm going to set x equal to 0. I'm going to have 3 times 0 now, plus 5y equals 7. In other words, 5y equals 7, and y is 7 over 5. 7 over 5 is approximately 1.4. And again, the way I found that was I put it in my calculator. I did 7 divided by 5. So if this is 2, this is 1, and we want just a little above 1, so there's that intercept. Now again, like before, all I have to do is draw my line through these two points, and I've graphed the equation.